let's battle on. We're going to set up the billing information now. Uh, wait for my music to finish. I love my music, in case you're wondering. All right, so now we're going to go set up the billing. Um, the good thing about a paid account is you'll get some storage, which is if you're a big user of Google Docs, uh, you're going to get 30 gigabytes per user, which is fantastic. Uh, fantastic. All right, so let's get started. So we're going to go through the process. It's $9 New Zealand a month. If you're in another country, it's going to be different. You can actually change your currencies to US if you want to, but my client is a New Zealand customer, so that's great. And hopefully, um, by having a Google business, sorry, uh, a billing account set up, it's just going to make your life a lot easier. It's a business, uh, tax information. We, we really need a GST number in there, which I'll need to get uh, from my client, except she's a charitable trust, and I need all that information there and a credit card detail. So I'm just going to go through there and fill that up rather than make you wait, and I'll see you in a second. All right, I've completed the form, and I'm going to press submit down the bottom. Unfortunately, uh, when I put the credit card details in there, you can see them, so I don't want to show you those, so I'll pause it as we go into the next stage. I would have liked to put the GST number in there, but I don't know my client's GST number, so hopefully that won't cause an error. All right, it's thanking me for purchasing a Google Workspace business starter. Uh, now, I think I'll be paying $6 extra a month for each mailbox. So um, let's go and have a look at that now. So over on the right-hand side, you'll see you've got these new boxes. And, um, and now you've got one that's called Google Admin, which you probably won't have. And just so you know, I'm going to go in there quite a lot, so I can actually move that up. Um, if it lets me, okay, I'm going to scroll down, but you can move these around if you like, and because I'm always on that one, I'm going to move it up the top next to there. So now I'm going to go back into my Google Admin. I've got my billing set up, and the next stage is I'm going to set up the MX records for the domain name, so I'll see you in the next video.